Hello. Well, um, I thought I'd just uh, talk about some stuff that's happened with Star Wars. First off the bat, something real short, but I'm not really going to talk a whole lot about it because not much detail has been given. Um, but there will be a TV show about, uh, uh, or a spin-off of Rogue One in the form of a TV show starring Diego Luna as <clears throat> Cassian Andor, correct? Yeah. Now, um, I enjoy the film. I enjoy Rogue One. I'm, I, but I have very mixed feelings about this. Um, I think the film is good the way it is, and nothing more needs to happen. Uh, though it could have been interesting to see a TV show about the rebels, the band of rebels who eventually would steal the Death Star plans, and possibly in seasons before the finale when that happens, they, you know, will... They'll go on missions, and you'll see in, uh, all what they do, and hopefully it'll all be good. Uh, uh, like because the movie, as it is, you know, the, aside from Jin, you really aren't as invested in the other characters. I mean, I'm sure there's Cassian, because I guess he's like the other main character, but. Uh, I guess with this show, you could learn more about him, and possibly when you rewatch Rogue One, you might care. But uh, other characters, not so much. Uh, but I don't know. That's that's just me. But I will leave. A, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. For you guys to read about it, there's not much. All articles I've seen see, say the exact same stuff. Diego Luna will be Cassian, uh, blah, whatever his name is. The reprises role is essentially what's going on in a TV show. Cassian Andor, that's his name, yeah. Can't talk. But outside of that, and uh, though somebody did say, uh, I talked to somebody, they said that they thought, you know, again, should have just been a TV show to begin with. That would have been interesting, but I don't know. Yeah. Outside of that, uh, a big thing going on is uh, Ryan Johnson saying in a tweet that Luke Skywalker in Episode 8 is as exact as the. Same as the original trilogy. He is exactly the same. Nothing different. You know, he is 100% consistent with his character. Not the way he's described in marketing blurbs, but his actual, based on his words and actions character from the OT. I'll be at the bar if you need me, huh? Well. Yeah, no, and that's just incorrect completely. Um, because that's just uh, nothing in the original trilogy would ever, with Luke, would ever make you think that's where his character would go. I mean, yeah, people are like, well, his character changes. Well, sure, but that drastically, what happened? Because it seems as if you know, he goes to kill his nephew. Um, all because he has a little bit of darkness inside of him. But when you think about uh, the original trilogy, Luke Skywalker, what does he do? You know, aside from learning the Force and knowing how to become a Jedi, he uses lightsaber and ways of the Force from between Obi Wan and Yoda. 
He never gives up on his friends, which he has done in this trilogy, uh, particularly in 8, when finally we have an explanation for what's going on with Luke, because um, in 8 all, or in 7, all he did was just stand at the edge of like a cliff and then turn around and just looked at Ray, sort of uh, angry, I guess you could say, is a bit peeved. Uh, no, that's just how he looked to me. Uh, maybe not to others, but whatever. To me, he just didn't look too happy to see her there. Didn't say a word. And, uh, there for a total of, like, 20 seconds or so. But anyway, that all side with what happened in 8, you know, again. He would never give up on his friends, and he didn't give up on his father, who was um, on the dark side completely for 20-plus years. He never gave up on him when he found out Darth Vader was his father. You know, that became a big revelation to him and to everybody. And he just, from then on, he just tried to find a way to become, or to redeem him, to become a Jedi himself and to redeem uh, his father, to bring him back to the light, and he ultimately did that, and he never gave up on his friends, he helped his friends, he saved Han Solo, and, uh, you know, he was a real hero. In eight, he, uh, none of that's really there. He, he, it's like a completely new character. As Mark Hamill says, this is a, his Luke Skywalker. This is Jake Skywalker, and I agree. Um, this is. I said somebody tweeted something. It was like talking about how ridiculous it is, and I'm like, yeah. Uh, It's like on drugs, <laughs> help, jokingly. Um, but <laughs> someone asked, like, well, if he's in L.A., you know, he's probably got, uh, like, very good drugs and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's true. Explain a lot. Granted, that's all joking. I'm not saying Ryan Drock was on drugs. I mean, it, saying Luke Skywalker in The Force or in The Last Jedi is completely 100% in character with the original trilogy is false. I don't know what, what in what world Ryan Johnson is living in. Clearly not the real world where the films, even within the special editions, nothing of the sort has ever been changed in the DVDs, Blu-ray releases of the special editions of Star Wars. The original trilogy to ever change the character of Luke Skywalker to uh, to where yes this is where he ends up no none of that ever and um, I I just don't I don't get it it's probably best I don't get it because if I found out how in Ryan Johnson's mind that all made sense I don't know. He's just, I don't know. Something about Ryan Johnson that just doesn't, it just doesn't sit well with me and with others. I don't know what it is. But, if you know, hey, perhaps shed some light onto this uh, for me, because I'm at a loss. I'm I don't understand it. Uh, uh, outside of trying to convince all of those who aren't f fans of The Last Jedi to try and convince us that this is con completely consistent, which it didn't do, um, I don't know. It's just, it's 
it's very mind-boggling, and quite honestly, I'm just tired of Ryan Johnson constantly saying stuff. You know, where it's like, you know, look, there's people who won't like your movie. Get over it, Ryan. And you yourself should know, because you purposefully, purposely, bleh, whatever I'm trying to say, you purposely made this movie to divide fans. You said so years before you even got the gig. You said if you had the chance to like make something like Star Wars, you would make something so... You would purposely make it divisive so half the audience would love it and half would hate it. And you've done that. You've succeeded. I don't know why you care and complain about those who don't like it. Your plan worked. You got your wish. People hate it and people love it I'm on the side of yeah I don't like it I uh, I guess Star Wars is such a part of my uh, childhood in terms of films that I don't know if I could bring myself to say I hate it <clears throat> I don't like this new trilogy don't like the way it's been going um, but I don't know if I could say I hate it and again, it could be because of how how much Star Wars has been in my, you know, life. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. I just don't like it. Uh, anyway, this is a show where I want, this is sort of a show where I want to talk about positive stuff. Sometimes things like this come about where it's just so uh, annoying, you know. But anyway, uh, there's that. Um, Ryan Johnson's going on spouting off stuff. He's also insulted fans. Um, basically, to because if you just look at his Twitter, you, know, you can see, you know, he basically like mocks fans who don't like his movie, which is also again weird. He purposely made it to make half the audience dislike it. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten what you said? I mean, if you have, okay, it's been some time ago. I believe that was 2012. When Looper came out, around that time, I've seen Looper. Um, I myself enjoyed it. Um, I liked it. Uh, it wouldn't be one of my top films, I don't believe, but I thought it was an alright film. But there are some who don't like Looper, and I can understand that. I can see where people wouldn't like it, but I liked it. I thought it was di just very different, and yeah. I am. Um, Oh, sorry. I am. Um, yeah, it's just. You make a movie purposely made to divide people, and. You, you go make fun and or mock those who don't like it, and they say stuff. And, you, and then you make fun and ridicule them when they ask questions? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I don't really know what else all I can say. Otherwise, I just keep going in circles and saying the same stuff. So, I should probably end it now. Um, yeah, mixed feelings about the Rogue One thing, the TV show. And another thing I'll say about that is, like, there will be then four shows going on. Because they're going to continue Clone Wars next year. They have Star Wars Resistance, which seemed to be more of a kid show and aimed at a very specific demographic, not a wide demographic. And then there's going to be The Mandalorian, um, which could come out next year, like fall. And um, I don't know 
when this new Rogue One spin-off show would uh, come out. It could be 2020. But maybe it will be next year. Maybe they've been developing it for some time and now I guess maybe are confident into releasing details because they already have uh, Diego Luna signed on for uh, the show. So, you know, they got him back because I guess he's going to be the main character. Um, yeah. But yeah, is it really necessary to have three shows going on? Then this about Star Wars. If you are going to have a fourth show, can't you do something completely different? Nothing pertaining to the new films or anything. Some other time. I don't know. I guess that's not possible. It's not uh, It's not in the... Uh, it's not something that's in the works or thought process. But anyway, uh, that's really all I have to say. Um, hope you all have a good day. Have a good weekend, and uh, yeah, until next time, take care. Bye.